Hi everyone, this is Annie Williams and I am so excited to introduce my new collection with Spellbinders called Propagation Garden. This collection was inspired by my career as a molecular biologist as well as a love of gardening and anything leafy and living. In the collection there are three die sets and they can be used on their own or together to create a number of different propagation garden systems. There's a better press press plate and die set, an embossing folder, a stamp and die set, and even a wax seal stamp. So let's take a look at each of the products in the collection and I'll show you all of the different things you can create. The Propagated Plants die set contains all the dies you need to create six different leafy plants with lots of layers and embossed details to give it a realistic look. It also has two different types of roots and you can attach those to any of the plants to use with your other Propagation Garden dies. These first couple of dies have three layers and they can be cut out of different colors of cardstock to create the Peperomia plant. The next set of dies is for the Pothos plant and they have two layers. Next are two layers for the Monster plant. There's a single die to create the Spider plant, but with those embossed details you can ink that one die cut to give a multicolored look. Next there is the String of Pearls and there are two dies for that to layer up. And then there is the bamboo stalks and leaves that can be inked and layered to create two different types of bamboo stalks, a curly one and a straight one. And lastly, there are the two different roots that you can cut and attach to any of the plants if you want to use them in any of the propagation garden systems. So both roots fit on all of the different plants. So here are a couple of cards that I've created with the Propagated Plants die set. This first one is just super simple with a couple of the spider plant die cuts inside of a really simple vase. And then for this next one, I've taken the Peperomia plant and I've put it in the beaker with a couple of the roots. And then finally, I've taken a bunch of the bamboo stalks and placed them in the glass jar for a really cute thank you card. Now the gravel at the base of that jar is actually from the string of pearls. It's that top layering die and I'll show you here. It's all these little pearls and I've just clustered them at the base of the bamboo to create the gravel. This is the laboratory glassware die set and it includes all the dies you need to create five different types of layered glass containers. Now I'm going to show you how to layer up one of these and it should be about the same for the rest of the containers. This is the basic glass jar and you use the outer die to create the backer. There's an inner die that kind of creates a water level as well as another inside die. And if you put the two dies together, you'll cut an outer rim. Now there's also a base layer for the water as well as a lip for the top of the jar. And when it's assembled, it looks like this. Now next is the beaker, and it also has the inner and outer dies to create the layered look. It also has tick marks, and you use this little skinny part to be the lip on the top of the beaker. This is the conical flask. There's the tick mark die for that one. And there is the top of the bottle. And when you layer it up, it looks like this. Next is the round bottom flask. And it also has tick marks, but Interestingly, this one has a second set of tick marks if you just want to use the tiny little ticks on the neck of the glassware. And here I've cut it with some acetate with those other types of tick marks so you can see. And then the last thing is the test tube. And when you layer up the test tube with the tick marks, it looks like this. 
Now don't forget, you don't only have to cut these out of paper. You can use acetate, like I've done here, and that could even be used for a shaker card. Or here is vellum, and that kind of gives a frosted glass look. So there's lots of different options for these glassware dies. And here are a couple of cards I created with the laboratory glassware die set. Here I've just lined up three of the containers in a row on a shelf for a unique encouragement card. And then this next one is kind of a fun way to wish a scientist or a science enthusiast a happy birthday. I've kind of created a chemistry set scene. So those are just some cute ways to use the laboratory glassware on its own. The Propagation Garden Frames die set creates two completely separate propagation garden systems. And you can see on almost all of the dies, there's this really cute wood grain effect, and that gets embossed into all of your die cuts. The rectangular propagation garden frame is super simple to assemble. We've included two of the longer sides, as well as two of the shorter sides, so that you can cut all the cardstock for the frame that you need in one pass. There's also a crossbar and two little brackets. And when you glue this all together, you get a very simple frame that can hold either three of the test tubes or two of any of the other glass containers. And then you can place your plants or flowers into the glass containers. Now, if you take away the crossbar and bracket, you get a really pretty just picture frame. And it's got all of that wood graining effect on it. And we've sized it perfectly to fit on the front of an A2 sized card. Now you can see here, you get about a quarter inch border when you place that on the front of a card. So you can use the frame just to frame out any of your other die cuts. And here's how that rectangular propagation garden frame looks on the front of an A2 size card base as well. And now we're going to take a look at this kind of the sawhorse style propagation garden frame. Now this one can be a little bit more complicated to assemble, but there's plenty of score lines to show you where to place different components. And all of the top layers have that really fun wood graining effect. Now, even though there's a ton of little pieces on this one, I think it's really worth it because it comes out looking three-dimensional, as you can see. It's, it's just a beautiful die cut. You use the same crossbar to insert into, there's two holes on either side of the frame. And then these are little brackets that you can use to attach your glass containers to either of the frames. The sawhorse style frame fits on an A2 size card base in the portrait orientation as well as landscape orientation. Now I tend to use it in the portrait orientation because I just like to have lots of room up top for, for tons of leaves and greenery, but that is completely up to you. So let's take a look at some cards I made using the Propagation Garden frame set. This first one uses the rectangular frame with the peperomia and the string of pearls plants. And now this next one uses the sawhorse style frame with both the monstera and the pothos plants on top of a really pretty ink blended background. And don't forget to use some of the flower dyes from your stash. Any of the long stem florals you may have will work perfectly in the glass containers and on these frames for kind of a deconstructed bouquet look. These are from Simon Hurley's photosynthesis collection, but you could use any of the ones from the Spellbinder's sealed collection as well. The Propagation Garden Sentiments Stamp and Die set includes tons of really beautiful growth and encouragement themed sentiments, as well as some general sentiments, and eight dies that'll help cut out most of the sentiments in the stamp set. So here I've just stamped the entire set onto some white cardstock, just to show you how they stamp. And then we're gonna take the six dies. These will cut out some of the largest sentiments. So here's all things grow with love, belief in yourself, thanks for helping me grow, you grow girl, and then some general sentiments, happy birthday and thinking of you. 
and they're all done in this really pretty modern font. Now there's also a large strip die. It's got notches in the corners, so a pretty decorative element, and that will cut out most of the single line stamps. There's also one double line stamp. It takes a long time to grow an old friend, and that one will fit into this die as well. Now this strip die was sized perfectly to fit onto the bottom of the rectangular propagation garden frame so that you can kind of use it as like a plaque almost and, and put your sentiment there. Here you can see how it fits onto a card that would have that frame. But the large strip die also works great on its own. Now there's one last die. It's this little teeny tiny strip. And what that does is it cuts out the thanks and for you, the tiny little sentiments in there, and they're meant to go on the glass containers, if you want, as kind of like a label. So it's just an extra fun place to put another sentiment in an unexpected way. And you can see it fits on the glass jar here. Here's the conical flask. They kind of fit on all of the jars. Now one of the other stamps we've included is the tick marks. So if you don't want to die cut the tick marks, you could stamp them and emboss them in white if you'd like. We've also included some bubbles and you can stamp those inside of the glass containers to kind of create a bubbly liquid or also coming out of the container if it's bubbling over. So just some fun extra stamps to give you more options. Now here are a couple of card samples made with the Propagation Garden Sentiment set. This one kind of focuses on that really beautiful long sentiment. Here, I've shown this card before, but you can see it stamped inside of that large strip frame. And I've just placed it across the test tubes. This one has both a large sentiment stamped at the top as well as the bubbles inside of each of the flasks. And then there's that tiny little for you sentiment that I've used as a label on the round bottom flask. And lastly, on the bamboo card, again, we've got thanks for helping me grow up in the top corner. And I love how the dies cut that really close border. It's a beautiful way to cut out a sentiment. And then I've also got another little label for you on the glass jar. Now next up is one of my favorite sets in the collection. It is the Tropical Leaves Press Plate and Die Set. We've included five different tropical leaf designs various shapes and sizes, along with the dies to cut all of the designs out. So here I've taken my better press and pressed all of the designs in black ink and then colored them in with different colors of green water-based markers. And you can see the different effects you can get, really detailed designs. I just love these designs. Now don't forget if you're not into coloring, you can just press them in different green inks and they look great that way as well. There's so much detail in the design that you really don't need to color them to really make them pop. And also with every better press plate, you know you can always foil them, right? So here they're foiled in gold. They look beautiful that way as well. And you can color those if you'd like or just leave them plain. And you could foil it in green. Just a really beautiful and versatile set. And I just love all the different designs. You could really create lots of different patterns with these pretty, pretty leaves. So these are some cards I've created with the Tropical Leaves press plate and die set. Here I've pressed them in black ink and colored them with water-based markers to create a focal point for just a really simple and elegant belief in yourself card. And then on this one, I've foiled them in gold, colored them with Copic markers, and arranged them as a border 
all pointing towards a really beautiful sentiment in the center. So just a lot of ways to use these beautiful designs. Next is the leafy helix embossing folder, and I love using embossing folders on almost all of my cards, so it was kind of important for me to include one in the collection. Like most of Spellbinder's embossing folders, it measures 5.5 by 8.5 inches, so you can create A2, A7, and slimline cards. Here I'm showing you kind of the subtle helix design that's mixed in amongst the leaves, and that's just kind of a nod to my career as a scientist. I've embossed some Cosmic Sky cardstock for you to see that really beautiful texture. And if you use the deboss side, it's still a beautiful design. Some, some folders you can't use both the deboss and emboss side, but this one works pretty well. Here I've embossed Waterfall cardstock, but then I've rubbed white ink all over the top of it, so it really brings out that texture well. And you can get a really good look at, at the design in that one. And in this one, I've just inked the panel before embossing. So it's a little more subtle, but a pretty look as well. And now here are a couple of cards I've created with the Leafy Helix embossing folder. This first one, I've masked off white cardstock and inked a strip before embossing. So that adds a nice grounding element for that jar full of bamboo. And then on this next one, I've inked around the edges to kind of emphasize that rectangular propagation garden frame a little bit more. And then for this last one, it's a simple card, but I've used the debossed side and you can see it's kind of, it's a little more subtle and just a really pretty background. And the last piece in the collection is the Oval Hello Wax Seal Stamp. It's done in that same beautiful font that we used in the stamp set. Really modern, really pretty. And it's a really simple wax seal stamp. So if you have trouble pressing some of the more intricate designs, this wax seal stamp probably won't give you any problems. It's a really simple one to use. So for this first wax seal, I melted some dark blue and teal and gold wax beads and kind of swirled them for a marbled look. And then I used a gold metallic marker over the hello to kind of bring it out a bit more. And it's just a really pretty combination of colors. And since the wax seal stamp is so easy to use, I created a bunch of different samples in different colors so that you could see how it looks. And we've got some pink and peach and teal and gold and dark pink and light pink and even some greens and bronze colored beads. And it just looks really beautiful in a lot of different colors. And here are a couple of samples I made using the wax seal. So I've foiled some of the better press plates from the collection and just added the wax seal as the sentiment for a really simple card. And for this one, it kind of serves as a sub sentiment still with the better press plates, but just kind of as a nice little fun addition and embellishment. I hope that you've enjoyed this look at my new Propagation Garden collection with Spellbinders and that I've inspired you to create your own leafy and lively card projects too. You can find links to all of the products from this video in the description box and I would love to hear what you think about the collection so please leave me a comment below. I'll be back very soon with more card project ideas featuring the Propagation Garden Collection, and until then, have a great day.